Hi all. Let's see a demo of how to use iOS devices on peakloudy.com for manual testing. So let's say I want to connect to iPhone 6. You just need to say connect to this device. On the confirmation dialog, you, you notice there is a UDID which is mentioned for that particular device. Please make sure that before installing any of your application on any of the iOS devices on our peakloudy.com platform, please add this UDID to your application and rebuild the application. There is a document available on peakloudy.com on how to add UDID to your application. Once you are done, please uh, press on the confirm button, you know, to go ahead. So once I press confirm button, you will be taken to the device screen. Now the device will connect to your browser. Once the device is connected, you will be shown the complete device and you can swipe the screen or practically you can do whatever you can do with the phone in hand. Now, the device size here displayed is close to the real device size. If you want to make it a little small, you can do so by zoom, zoom, zoom out button over here. You can zoom in with the zoom in button over here and you can reset the zoom level by clicking this reset button. So once you click it, it will be back to the normal size and if you click it one more time it will show one is to one pixel of the device. I'm making it a little small to fit it into the viewable area of the browser. You can start the device logs by expanding this debug logs button here and press on start logs. Once you say so the device logs will start appearing in this particular pane. I'll show you how to install the application on the uh, iOS device. You just need to click on the very first button here which says install and install apps. Click on this button and you will be taken to the cloud drive. So all these applications, whatever you are seeing it here, are the application which I have already uploaded to my cloud drive. Now, if you have not uploaded any of your application to cloud drive, you can do so from this dialog. You can click on upload file over here choose click on the choose file we will open the file browser and from file browser you can choose any application uh, from your local system once you choose that file the application will get installed on the device and it will be also available on the cloud drive now i've just selected ifixit.ipa i'm just clicking on the install button you can see the status of the installation here so the application is getting installed at this moment. Once the application is installed, the dialog will get dismissed. You can see here that the device logs are getting populated and the application got installed. So I just need to click on the application to open the application. The application gets opened. I am opening the application further. Let's say I'm clicking game console now if I want to change the orientation to portrait uh, landscape mode from the portrait mode I can do so by clicking this landscape button so the phone and the uh, application both will turn into landscape I can take screenshot by clicking this take screenshot button once I do so you can see this is how the application uh, or this is how the screenshot with uh, one is to one pixel and uh, with, along with the skin of the device is getting captured. I'm changing it back to the portrait mode. You can download the logs at any given point of time either by the button which is present here or the button which is present uh, in the logs. You can reboot the device remotely by clicking this reboot device and if you want to go back to uh, home screen you can very well use the uh, home button which is provided by the phone by clicking it here and you will be 
taken back to the home screen now we have I'm just opening the Safari browser now along with this home button we have one more uh, button here which is provided by Apple so you just click this and click on the home button and you will be quickly taken to the home button once you are done with your testing you can release the device back to the device cloud by clicking this release button please notice when you are releasing the device on any of your public cloud the device gets cleaned up and the device gets available in the cloud drive i hope you have enjoyed the video thank you bye bye